So here we go. Capital One dunk competition. This is Vince Greer out of Charlotte, North Carolina. He's kind of a slasher. Jimmy, you and I got a chance to see him, and I know, Lav, you saw him a lot during the regular season. We saw him in the NIT. Got 15 seconds left. Up and in with a left hand for Vince Greer. Uh, now they got a little dance move going on, too. Here's Vince Greer, 6'5", and can really get up. Lawrence Wrights, 6'4", from Bradley. Goes up and throws it down. Ooh. There's that seven-foot wingspan lag you're talking about. Got that right. If Dad gets a tape of this thing, Ooh. off the backboard and down. Cameron Bennerman out of North Carolina State was kind of a late addition. He's clearing everybody out of the way on the baseline, though. Well, Herbie Sendek runs that Princeton-style spread court offense, so he's been practicing passing and cutting and Back ball healing. Yeah. Not, no time to work on. Whoa. Oh, nice. That was nice. Most of the judges, I think, gave him a nine as you take a look at the baseline and the throwdown. Took Whoa. off like a long jumper here in track and field. Whoa. The hook dunk. Now David Noel from North Carolina. He's moving our camera cables, so let's see what he's got from the baseline. Throws up, throws Whoa. down. Whoa. That might be that chocolate thunder backward slam a jamma thing he was talking That's about. That's what yesterday. he called it. That's, That's right. It. I forgot about that. Chocolate thunder backward slam a jamma by David Noel. <laughs> You talk about having an assist in a rim rattler all on your own, and then a little dance to follow. And James White of Cincinnati is set to take flight. Oh, well, that'll help. That'll help. White. Difficult to see over as we see here. And that is eye level with the rim. I think he's in the mid 50s just by judging from what I can see. Whoa, Swing of the, the judges. Yep, what a great it. look. That's Maurice Ager. Here's a guy you saw a ton during the course of the regular season, Lab. Hager, 6-5, spins and got it. And a 360. With such ease. Tom Izzo looking on with his family. And yeah, Brad Hager, a kid that probably learned something last year at this competition uh, during the Final Four. He and the rest of the Spartans came in and watched it, if I remember. Yeah, they did. They all came in in their green sweats. I remember that, what, too. What's, what's amazing here is how easy he makes this look. Al Grace Wilborn is on a cell phone. He's doing a Joe Horn thing here. He didn't pull it out of the basket support, did he? Got to bring the ball handling skills with you. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! You talk about in flight and hang time. I don't know who he was calling, oh. but call the family. That might be a good one. Hello, Sports Center. Remember. My name is El Grace Woo. Wilborn. Woo. He's wearing his old teammate's jersey. Whoa! His head and neck were way above the rim. Another look. He's yeah. got his teammate on his tattoo and the back of his jersey. All right, so Rodney Carney, who's an Indianapolis native. I think this kid is a lottery pick waiting to happen. Carney, whoa. whoa. You talk about making something look easy. His confident coach looks on. I know it's in slow motion, but how quickly he gets up off the floor. Very impressive. So as we look at Carney's first attempts, as he glides in and hammers it home, big smile for El Grace. He's one of our co-leaders after the first round. He and David Noel with 60s. Carney and Venterman had 56. And you see the rest after dunk number one. You know who you're looking up at. Vince Greer getting ready for his second dunk, and he knows he's going to make up some serious ground because he is currently in eighth place of the eight performers. And then this year, as Jimmy said earlier, had some injury problems with his thumb, missed the first five games of the season, then went in double figures for about four games, and then missed another. Just not enough zip right there for Mr. Greer, but a terrific athlete. And I think he got the same score as he got the first round, or pretty close to it. Here's Lawrence right out of Bradley. Went 53 and a half with his first jump. His mom was a long distance runner. Missed it, but he still got time to retrieve it if somebody gives him a little help on the ball. He said he thinks he got the spring in his legs from his mama, who did all that running. Oh, and he missed twice, and now he's going to have to really scramble. Down to the final seconds, going to have to hurry. And he goes up and makes sure as he puts the hand in all the way to his elbow. This kid was a big part of it coming off the bench. 
explosive. He had 14 in that last game as he dunks all the way through to the elbow, but probably not going to be enough. Here's Cameron Betterman, who I think kind of surprised everybody. And he's going to get a little help from Justin Gray. So the ACC guys are helping each other out. Wake Forest and the Wolfpack. Justin with the feet off the side of the backboard. Tell you what, the assist was almost as good as the dunk. Like the teamwork. Yeah, I do too. Not sure if it's enough to get over the hump. David Noel, he threw down the lob from the baseline to himself. Off the clock again, and this time he rattles it home. It's hard just to hit the clock through the cables that are holding it up and not have it go in a stray direction. <laughs> it ties the dolly into the act to finish it off. Wow. Here's James White. His second dunk after being in fifth place now, 54 and a half. This was my favorite coming in. But Flight's going to have to come up with something special just to get back in the hunt, I think. Here he goes from the free throw line. Got it. Whoa. Bring down the house. Flight White and a little after dance. I think that might put him in the hunt. Look at Woo. Whoa. Takes it to the shoulder blades. He is so fast, first of all. He pumps this ball back uh. to the shoulder blades and finishes it with the flush. That should be a 60. Maurice Hager had a 54 in round one. He's going to try to throw it up, go get it, and throw it back, I think, guys. There it is. And there, whoop, he came up short. Knightsville can't execute it, but he comes up with the ideas. Uh-oh, he's got one more chance. And this always has something in the mind of the judges. He's going to make sure goes with a reverse jam because he was running out of time. But after that, the judges are thinking, okay, it's just not going to work. Three strikes, you're out. Yep. And then he went to just a regular, a regular, what am I talking about? Reverse two-handed slam. Second dunk for the 6'8". El Grace Wilborn out of Western Kentucky. Danny Rump, that's why he has his uh, name on his back right now. Went between the legs with the left hand. because they appear less spectacular than they really are. But when you watch them in slow-mo, are you kidding me? He just touches the ball. He doesn't bring it between his legs, but still almost. Rodney Carney, this was your favorite, guys. He needs a 55 or better just to advance. His brother's here, his sister's here, his brother-in-law here, his grandpa Chester's here. Whoa, look out. Well, he made it. Some of the family and friends looking on that he slipped on landing. And he just, boom, when he wants to explode now, he's at the rim in a heartbeat. And he did go all the way between the legs and got it through the legs with the left hand, jammed with the right. 60s for a couple of guys, three guys so far. Here's how it looks. Will Bourne is the sleeper and the leader. Carney, 57 and a half. White, 57-3. David Noel, 56. Betterman, Greer, Wright, and Ager bring up the back of those top eight. Here's David Noel. Had a 60 in the first run. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, wow. I like this. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Oh, my goodness. Pulled out the Barishnikov. Well, that was Olympic-style dunking. Watch this. Handspring, Sticks back the flip, landing. Stuck get the, landing. the feed, and boom. Wow, Roy Williams has been holding him back all these that years. Right. <laughs> Gets a little freedom. He's breaking out, baby. Oh, my. What a job. He said he has to do something more crazy. I don't know what it could be. Oh! Whoa! He missed the one-hand windmill from the stripe, but he's still got time. Is he a pro ball player? We'll find out, but he is a pro athlete. Got to have this or it's over. Oh. And he got it. And the house goes up. And James gets down. High level with the rim. Explosive. Houdini. Wow. He got another perfect score. Here's the guy that everybody thought was the favorite coming in. 6'7", Rodney Carney of Memphis. He's going to take off from the far corner, too. Calipari is pretty crafty. Yeah. Wouldn't put it past him. Carney from the stripe himself. He one-handed it, and he goes into the crowd, and now that's going to cost him valuable time. Thank you. He may not get back up, and he, uh, he hurt himself, I think. As you take a look, he one-handed it, mm. and he had great flight, but he hit the front of the rim, and then he completely lost it when he went into the crowd, and the, again, the ball boys, uh. and girl, oh, he landed funny yeah. before he ever hit the kids down there on the baseline. 
El Grace Wilborn, average of 59 coming in. And he's already cuffing in that left hand. He doesn't worry about dribbling. Up, oh, tried to throw it backwards. This one he's got to have right here. And he windmilled it, and I don't think he's going to have time for another dunk. And it looks like it might be, well, he got in the air, but he missed it anyway. And you missed the second one. In the eyes of the judges, it's not too good anyway. And then he hit the back of the iron trying to throw that one down. It's going to be David Noel, and it's going to be James White. And it's James White right now that has the best score in that last round. The high feed to himself. Can he pull it down and in? Nope, he missed it. Goes up and throws it through one-handed and sideways. We've seen the backward slam a jam out of him, the barn door flip. Now the alley-oop to himself. And he's going to get a 55 and a half out of this one. James White in flight. Oh, and he missed it, though. He went between the legs. Now he's going to have to hustle just to get there. White, final chance, and he missed. And that means David Noel's going to win it. Well, the missiles will cost you. And consistency sometimes brings home the gold. David Noel of North Carolina, Capital One, slam dunk champion. James White, that probably cost him right there because that took him 10 seconds to run that far. Then he missed one, trying to go between the legs. And then just trying in the final seconds to put one between his legs from the wing. And he couldn't pull it off either. The hat trick. And David Noel said, whoop, I think I won. And he did. 2006 slam dunk champ from Chapel Hill, David Noel. Congratulations.